Just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was uptight, wanna let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and wanna leave my old life behind. Not a yes, sir, not a follow up. Fit the box, fit the mold, have a seat in the foyer. Take a number. I was lightning before the thunder. Hey guys, Mike back here at Air Guns. Here today to introduce the M car. This is from Bentac. Uh, this rifle is coming soon. It's not quite out for retail yet. I've got a uh, pre-production model. Um, it is a it's a long-range rifle. <laughs> it's got a 38-inch barrel on it, uh, match-grade barrel. It looks like something out of the next Terminator movie. Um, I was able to get this thing to the range just out of the box, no tune, and just do some 100-yard groups. This is a short video. I'm just going to show those first out of the box 100-yard groups I did. Uh, it's really accurate, and it's, it's really accurate long range. Uh, I'm going to go take this, you know, stretch it out 200, 300, 500 yards and see what it'll do. But I just want to introduce the gun. Uh, it's called the MCAR multi-caliber air rifle. The rifle here is in 457 cal. Um, it also comes in 500 cal, 510 cal, I want to say 58 cal, and there's rumors it might come in a, a caliber even higher than 58 cal. Um, a multi-caliber air rifle maneuvers, you can change the barrels on it. The current barrel on this is a 38 inch match grade barrel. Um, at some point you'll be able to get a 30 inch hunter version of this that's not, that's, that's not as long. Uh, some other specs of the rifle. You can fill the air tanks on these up to 4,500 PSI. At some point, there will be an upgrade to where you can fill these tanks up to 7,500 PSI. That's not out yet, but that's a, basically an upgrade that's coming to the gun down the road later. The current tanks on it, this first uh, tank here is a 3 liter, or th um, 0.3 liter or th um, 300 cc tank. And the one on the bottom here is a 20, 200, 220 cc tanks. So basically you got 520 cc's in these two tanks. You can put bigger tanks on it to get to get more air. Again 45 cal. It has it comes with uh, I think two or three mags. Um, the mags are really really thick so you can put some really long slugs in this rifle. Uh, these bags hold uh, six um, six rounds. It's got a max grade trigger on it. It's probably the best trigger I've shot um, on any long-range rifle. It is super crisp, uh, very easy to, uh, to, to pull. It's got a side lever cocking that's also very, very smooth. Um, the butt stock back here is adjustable so you can adjust this in and out. It's also got like a little mini pod back here. You can adjust this screw and raise it up and down. This rifle's regulated, so it's got a regulator on it. Um, it's got a really nice muzzle brake. I think I've seen some folks that try to put a um, a moderator on it. You could put a moderator on it, but I, I mean, I, <laughs> it's definitely not a backyard gun, right? And it's loud. I mean, it is loud. So I, I'm just fine with the muzzle brake that comes with it on it. I'm not going to try to quiet this rifle down. It's too big a rifle to to put a to, mod, to put a moderator on, in my opinion. I took this rifle out and did some hundred yard groups um, just out of the box, and uh, it shot the hundred yard groups really well for 45 cal. Um, I'm going to stretch this rifle out 200, 300, 500 yards, and I'll show the accuracy on that. But this is the 100 yard footage uh, just out of the box. The ammo I'm shooting is from Bentac also. These are 337 grain 457 slugs. This rifle is shooting at about 600 foot pounds of energy. And it's, I mean, it's sitting close to uh, MOA at 100. So we're gonna do some five shot groups at uh, 100 yards. And then we're gonna set up at 200 yards. And then if we got time, we're gonna go do some longer stuff at, uh, that'll probably be another video, three, four, five hundred yards. Just see, I stretch this rifle out, see exactly what I can do. Foot-pounds of energy.
Guys, there. <laughs> there's five shots down there of these monster 337 grain slugs that are like definitely sub MOA, right? I mean, there's like two little holes down there. That's crazy. Wow. I want to shoot another one of those and then we're going to stretch this thing out longer. We'll do a scope adjustment here. Another really good five shot group. I think I pulled it last one there, which I've shown in many videos. I'm really good at four shot groups. <laughs> they tend to screw up the fifth shot, especially if the first four are really good. <laughs> All right, let's shoot a couple more five shot groups, two more five shot groups on the same sheet, uh, and then we'll stretch it out to 200 yards. Under 15.4. So we just did a, um, a decimal reading on it, 115.4 decimals, and it's like, I don't know, seven feet away from the muzzle. So that's, I mean, it's loud, right? You're not gonna be shooting this in your backyard, but uh, that close, 115, that's about right for big four. Same exact hole. This is the most accurate big bore rifle I've shot. And I'm not a big bore expert by no means. I'm a backyard expert. <laughs> it's venturing into big bore, but this thing is uh, stupid accurate. And again, this is the first time I've ever shot the gun, so I don't even know the gun that well. Um, but I'm gonna do this last five shot group at 100 and then we'll stretch it out. Folks, those are really good to me. <laughs> those are really good five shot groups at 102 yards. First time I've ever shot this gun right out of the box. Uh, haven't done any tuning to it, just aired it up and shot. So uh, pretty impressed with this damn thing so far. Okay, here's a summary of all the slugs I tested in this MCAR. It was a slew of slugs. The, the three that did the best to me were the... Um, NSA 298s, the uh, Bentac 337 grains, and the Seneca 350 grains. Those three seem to have the tightest groups at 100 yards. 
I mean, they, they all did good. There were really no bad slugs in here, but just when, as far as grouping tightness at 100, those three seem to, to do the best. And you see the BC uh, and foot pounds of energy on all these. All right, guys, we narrowed it down to the top two or three pellets for this uh, M car. And, and from my testing, I'm sure you'll have maybe have different results, but these are the top three that, that group the best at 100 yards. We're stretching out down to 200 yards. The three pellets. These, uh, these NSA 298s, uh, boat tail, hollow point slugs, group really well. The, uh, the Bentac 337 grain slugs did really well also. And try these 350 grain Senecas, these, these, these did well. So we're going to see what we can do at, um, at 200 yards. Um, the rag is set, locked in at uh, 3200. 3200. <laughs> All right, Dad, are you ready to ring some steel? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm ring some steel this first shot. Yeah, I'll talk about it. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right, listen for some steel. Oh, I see lights going off. I'll tell I see you. lights going off. That's on the first damn try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, at 200 yards, Dad, it's that far from dead center of the little red dot. It's that far over. <laughs> Oh, this is too easy. That, that target's too damn big down there. That target's too big. Wow. I'm telling you. All right, come here, Donnell. Hang on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hang on, I'm filming this. Let me just get one more five-shot group. I got a YouTube channel, so I put all these okay. on YouTube. All right, guys, I just shot five shots down there at that 200-yard uh, uh, gong and hit five out of five. So uh, 200 yards, guys, is way too short for this. We're going to stretch this thing out further. I'm not even going to try any of the slugs. Um, 200 yards is uh, too easy for this. Let's go past. Let's, let's, let's do 300 yards. Let's see what we can do with 300 yards. We'll be back. All right, guys, unfortunately, the uh, big storm come up just as I wrapped up the 200-yard footage and uh, lightning and got pretty bad so I was unable to to finish this uh, this M car at longer ranges other than 200 yards so that will be in the next video I'm going out this week to the range I'm going to shoot this thing at you know three four or five hundred yards and uh, I expect it to do well so I want to say uh, thanks again to Ben at Bentac for sending me this rifle let me test it also want to say thanks to uh, dad for letting me use this farm and uh, there were no um, cows or calves shot during this video <laughs> thanks for uh, watching please like and subscribe just a young gun with a quick fuse I was up